Hey, this is Mr. Aiden. Uh, last section we did graphs of sine and cosine functions. Well, there's a lot of other functions, isn't there? There's tangent, there's se co secant, cosecant, cotangent. There's graphs of all other trigonomic functions, and that's what this is. It's section 4.6, graphs of other trigonomic functions. And if you remember, when we went through the really difficult case of sine and cosine, I said, follow my little method here, and it'll make it really easy. Same thing for this section. Follow my method, and it'll make it easy. So let's take a look at tangent, okay? And again, for tangent, we, we're going to go back to our 0, our pi over 2, our pi, our 3 pi over 2, and our 2 pi. And so you can see, remember, tangent of x is equal to the y over the x, or the sine over cosine. So here, at tangent, if y over x is 0 over 1, we end up getting 0. So at 0, we're at 0. But here, we're going to be 1 over 0, which is what we call undefined, undefined. At, at pi, we're back to 0, aren't we? And then we're undefined right here, and then we are back to 0. So think about it. What is the slope of our line here? It's 0. What's the slope of our line right here? It's undefined, isn't it? And so if we take a look at this tangent, you can see at 0, we were at 0. At pi over 2, we were undefined, or there is an asymptote, okay? At 3 over 2, it's undefined again. At pi, we're back at 0. At 2 pi, we're back at 0, which means you can see, uh, kind of think of what's happening here. We have an undefined value at each of these places right here, and we're at zeros, okay? Now, let's think about our unit circle. Remember, all things were positive right here when we were in, from 0 to pi over 2. Tangent was positive over here uh, from pi to 3 pi over 2. So you can see how we, and we know we're equal to 1 right here, and so our graph kind of looks like this. Okay, they go through this 1 over 1, 1, over, one away, one away right there, and they keep going over and over and over again, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Okay, and so this is the graph of what we call a tangent function, a tangent function. Okay, now if you can see, uh, we also have this thing like cotangent. Okay, and so uh, if we come back to our tangent, take a look right here. If, remember, what is cotangent is going to be the reciprocal of everything. The reciprocal of everything. So think about it. What's the reciprocal of zero? The reciprocal of zero is undefined, isn't it? What's the reciprocal of undefined? It's zero, isn't it? What's the reciprocal of zero? It's undefined. So you see how every single point this looks very, very, very similar to our tangent graph, with the exception of every time there's an undefined value, we have zero. And every time we have a zero, we get an undefined value. Now let's think about this logically here. What's the reciprocal of positive here is going to be positive here, okay? What's the reciprocal of our negative, which is right here? It's negative. So do you see how this looks exactly like our tangent function, except everything shifted over, and it's kind of the opposite there. It's kind of the opposite there. Uh, if I bring up my GeoGebra really quick, quickly, and uh, if you take a look, I'm going to plug in y equals tangent of x. There's my function right there. And y equals tangent of x. Uh, I'm going to bring up y equals tangent of x. That's my function right there. You can see my undefined values at, at each of these points. If I do y equals co cotangent of x, it looks every time I had a point at 0, we have an undefined value. Every time we have an undefined value, it's 0. And this is what our uh, functions look like uh, for tangent and cotangent. Now, we also have sec cosecant and secant. Now, what is cosecant? Cosecant is the reciprocal. Uh, remember, cosecant of x is equal to the reciprocal of 1 over sine of x. Okay. Now, again, uh, when I tutor students in this subject that they're trying to do cosecant graphs, they're really struggling. 
But then I give them this little hint. I give them the pencil hint again. Do If you know Kosekin is dealing with sine, first sketch out your sine graph. Okay, so how do we sketch out our sine graph? This is what I'm looking at right here. So my sine graph is coming like bam, 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 like that. Okay, it's coming on the other side right here. Okay, boom, 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 boom. Right? That's that's my that's my sine graph, isn't it? Sine is that's my sine of x graph. Okay, so cosecant of x is going to be the reciprocal of this. So again, think about it. What's the reciprocal of zero? It's undefined, isn't it? What's the reciprocal of zero? It's undefined. So you're going to have asymptotes at each of these little zero points on your sine graph, aren't you? There's our undefined values. Now, let's think about this. We have pi over 2 and positive 1. What's the reciprocal of positive 1? Is positive 1. What's the reciprocal of negative 1? Is negative 1. What's the reciprocal of negative 1? It's negative 1. What's the reciprocal of positive 1? It's positive 1. That makes sense, doesn't it? Which means what's going to happen to the reciprocals of these guys is it's going to come up like this and come down like this. Okay, come down like that, come up like that. Okay, and that blue graph is the graph of my cosecant graph. Okay, so let's let's take a look here. I'm gonna do I'm gonna bring up GeoGebra again, and uh, let's take a look at y equals cosine of x. So wait, let's do sine of x, and there is my sine of x. Okay, and take a look at what happened. Let, let's say I have y equals two sine of two x. Okay. Very, very crunched. I'm going to draw that graph because I know how to do that graph in pencil. Then I'm going to do y equals 2 cosecant of 2x. And you can see that cosecant of 2x, every time you're 0, it's an undefined value, and it's going to be the inverse graph there. The inverse graph that, that uh, sorry, not the inverse graph, the reciprocal graph, that cosecant graph there. Okay? Now let's go to. Uh, something like secant of x. Okay, remember secant of x is what is secant of x? Secant of x is the reciprocal of cosine of x. Okay, so what are we going to do in pencil? We're going to draw a cosine of x graph. So we're going to go there. Remember, we come back to two pi. We're in between at the negative amplitude. We're zero and zero. Okay, so here is our graph right there. Okay, we're going to do the same thing here. What do we do? Now we're going to do our secant graph, okay? Our secant graph, when we're zero, what does it mean? We're undefined, we're asymptotes. Asymptote, asymptote, asymptote is going to be at zero right there, okay? Now, what about, what's the reciprocal of positive ones? Positive one, negative one, negative one, positive one, positive one. So it's going to be So if you know how to draw sine graphs and cosine graphs, you know how to draw secant and cosecant. It is just simply going to be the same graph, okay? Let me do it for you this way. Let's say we have y equals 3 cosine of x, okay? Well, what would y equals 3 secant of x look like? the exact same graph, it's just asymptotes whenever you hit zero, okay? And so that is how to draw these other graphs, okay? Uh, we've, we already looked at this one, but I'll show you how to do, do this one sketching by, actually we haven't done this one, because this is a secant graph, this is just like a cosine graph, which means I'm going to sketch out y equals 2 cosine of 2x, two okay? I know my amplitude is 2, I know my b is equal to 2, which means my period is equal to 2 pi over 2, which my, means my period is equal to 1 pi. Okay, It's a cosine graph, which means cosine graphs start at the amplitude, doesn't it? So we're going to start up here at the amplitude. Uh, it's going to hit the amplitude again at pi. Okay, This is how we draw cosine graphs. In between these two points, we're going to be at the ne their negative amplitude. In between these two points, we're going to be hitting 0 and 0. Okay, so this is, and I'll draw this kind of in a dotted line, this is what my graph looks like. Okay, I'm going to kind of 
replicate this on the other side right here. So this is what two cosine of 2x looks like. So now I'm going to look at this graph of 2 secant of 2x. Anytime we have 0, what do we have? We have an asymptote. 0, we have an asymptote. 0, we have an asymptote. 0, we have an asymptote. Anytime we're right here, and guys, we're not looking at this being exact. What we're looking at is major points, colonel points, captain points, lieutenant points, major points of this graph, and we're taking a look at what the sketch looks like. That's what every teacher is looking at. And so this blue graph, obviously, if you wanted to, you could kind of erase the penciled part, and it looks really, 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 really beautiful. And that is what my graph looks like. Okay, that was what my graph of 2 secant of 2x looks like. For me in my class, guys, you can keep the pencil part. I'm really looking at the pen. All right, it's just kind of like doing some sketch of your hard work. So that's section 4.6, graphs of other trigonomic functions. So I'll catch you on the other side, okay? See you guys.